You know those times when you're trying to do an introduction onto YouTube and you just fail miserably to do so? This is the third time I'm trying to do an introduction for this thing. I usually do one take narrations, but fuck my life. I just haven't been getting things correctly. Anyway, this is probably my best one, so I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Anyway, you probably spot the difference on my team. I replaced Landris with Latios. I think Latios is a general better uh, but don't pass nasty plot receiver than Landris. It also has recovery in the form of Roost. So yeah, it, it's also, it, it's got Levitate and it's a little bit faster. It also checks the Rakion in a sort of way because it you outspeeds, know, Landris doesn't, so yeah, I've got, it's pretty much a second safety check to, to Rakion. So, yeah, my opponent is running Alakazam, Lucario, Latios, Garchomp, Skarm, and Keldeo. Fuck this team, two dragons, Keldeo, so much power. Anyway, I predicted him to lead off with Skarm, so I'm going to lead off with Rotom. And it's exactly what happens. Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, for Volt Switch. I really don't want to play any games around this Skarm. He lives at about 20%. And I'm going to switch out into my Terrakion. Because I know nothing on his team really wants to take a hit. And I know he would set up him ha them hazards. Uh, I saw no leftover. So I assumed Gustav Berry. And he gets up a second layer. This time he gets spikes up. Whatever. At least Skarm is down. So Crisis number one avoided. Now he brings in Keldeo. The way he brings it in kind of tells me he Choice Scarf. So I'm going to go to Celebi. And he goes for an icy win, which he, he was a very good play, in my opinion. And uh, I'm going to go for a Giga Drain. Hindsight, I should have gone for the Psychic, predicting the switch, because there was no way Kaldo would have stayed in. And Lucario comes in, so getting a Psychic on this thing would have been so good. But then again, I wanted HP back, so Kaladius could also come in, and I would rather go for Giga Drain in that scenario. Regardless, as you see, Psychic would have been a 2 hit KO had I not gone for Giga Drain in the first place. So I would have been able to take out Lucario and keep my Celebi. That doesn't happen, however. So, yeah, I'm going to go to my Scizor. He's probably going to go for an Extreme Speed, but I want to go for a Bullet Punch just in case he goes for a Close Combat. I really cannot risk it. And uh, I show him that I'm locked into Bullet Punch. So he's going to take the opportunity to go into his Alakazam, which I found kind of weird. I'm going to break this Sash because I need to. I really have no other option. Alakazam can be a threat because he can take one hit and then two kill my entire team. I'm going to go to my Rotom Watch because I know I can take whatever hit. He's going to go for an Energy Ball, which I thought it was weird, to say the least. But I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. I was paranoid about Hydro Pump missing, and that's why I went for it. I'm going to go to my Tyranitar to lure in his uh, Garchomp, but he goes into his Caldeo. There is really nothing I could do about it. And um, I, I think he wants to get rid of my Tyranitar, so I'm going to go to my Latios, predicting the Sacred Sword. But he goes into his... Uh, sorry, he goes for an Icy Wind, and that does a lot. So, I found that was kind of weird. I just kept it in my mind for future reference, but I don't know. He goes for a second Icy Wind because he obviously wants to take out my Latios. And I feel pretty safe because he, he's Scarf, obviously, and I can take an Icy Wind. So I'm going to Grunge, I think, pretty the Switch. But turns out he's Expert Belted, so that damage you saw on Latios... I was almost about to suspect that, but I I was not bothered to run a calc, so I just roll with it, and it turns out he was expert bill after all. So now I'm going to go to my Latios, knowing that I would speed, I'm going to go for a side shock. Now I get to know what his Scarfer is, and he goes into his Garchomp to revenge kill me. He goes for an Outrage, that's fine. I just want to go into my Rotom Watch because I want him to get the Confusion Axe, but he goes for an Outrage. And he does not get confused. So I only have one hope. I need to Swords Dance on his Outrage because I know I can live it. And I'm going to activate my Salak Berry here. So I know that I'm going to take out this Garchomp. Now it's only just a matter of Stone Edge hitting the Latios. And I feel pretty confident. So I take out his Scarfer, which is Garchomp. And I live with 2 HP after Ruskin damage. So I'm like, oh yes, baby. Come on, 80%. Roll with me. Please, please, please. What? Double Scarf. That is all. Later.